Not everything in life is equal. And when you come across a situation that isn't equal, we can express it in mathematics as an inequality. You are probably already familiar with inequality symbols. We can have greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, and sometimes things just aren't equal. Whenever you see one of these symbols, you can know that we are working with an inequality. If I have a situation that looks like this, 4x is less than 8, I know that whatever x is has to make this a true statement must be less than 8. This is an inequality. I can have also have 4x is less than or equal to 8. Now my options for x increased, but this is still an inequality. I can have 5y is greater than 20. Whatever I substitute in for y can make this a true statement. And I can have 5y is greater than or equal to 20. These are all examples of inequalities. Did you know that you can also graph an inequality? Let's take a look at an example. Here we have an inequality. x is less than 8. We know that any number we put in here has to be less than 8. This can include negative numbers as well as positive numbers as long as whatever we substitute for x doesn't become greater than 8 because x must be less than 8. Here I've drawn a number line with the values represented between 8 and negative 6. Now I know that x has to be less than 6. So to graph this, I'm going to put an open circle on my 8 to show that I can't include that in the value, in the value for x. And I'm going to draw my arrow going this way, showing that any value less than 8 and not including 8 will work in this inequality. This is called graphing the solution of an inequality. Here's another inequality. y is greater than or equal to 5. Let's graph the solution for this inequality. Now, my solution shows that y is greater than or equal to positive 5. So because it's greater than or equal to, I'm going to include 5 in the solution, which means I'm going to put a closed point at 5. Then I can draw my line to the right with an arrow showing that all the values, including 5, will greater than 5, will work for this inequality. Look at the graph of this solution on the number line. We are looking for the solution for y. You can see that we have a closed circle at positive 2. So we can say that it's definitely going to include an equal to, and positive 2 is there. The numbers that were graphed are less than. So y is less than or equal to positive 2. Using a graph you can write an inequality. Using an inequality you can graph a set of solutions.